Okay, so we finished up the experiment. Uh, we got some pretty good results. Uh, I'll kind of just go over it really quick with you guys and uh, have you take a look. Uh, but we got quite a bit of flowers so far. We've got some beautiful yellow flowers over here. And then we've got some really nice pink, kind of a little bit reddish flowers over here. Uh, also a couple up here. <clears throat> So uh, as for results, the uh, control over here, um, <clears throat> you know, never really progressed too much. It went from 11 leaves to 14 uh, over the course of seven weeks. Um, <clears throat> so it didn't have much progress at all. Over here with the nutrition only um, container, we've got two uh, plants in here, quite a bit of growth. We've had two flowers. It went from 13 leaves to 134 healthy leaves, uh, as you can see. And then the container back here with the nutrients and the air bubbles went from uh, 23, or I'm sorry, nine leaves to 195. And that's got quite a bit of flowers, as you can see. There's four over there. And then there's two up here, and then there's one over here. Those are all coming from the same plant here. And then the air bubbles only container here, as you can see, didn't really have much growth at all. Uh, went from 23 uh, healthy leaves to 25, so it hasn't really done much. So yeah, there you have it. Um, the largest percentage of growth was the nutrients and the air bubbles. I haven't really done any calculations, but uh, I'll probably maybe post those on our Instagram page. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. There was quite a bit of uh, kind of good things that happened. We were able to determine that you can hydroponically grow wildflowers in uh, these milk jugs. So that was pretty exciting. And then our cilantro over here, we didn't take any data, but man, look at it, it's beautiful. Uh, from now on, I'm gonna be growing cilantro hydroponically. So, as you can see, it's really taken off. Okay, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, check out our Instagram. I'll, I'm gonna post a bunch of pictures, the progression pictures, and the results. And uh, thanks for taking a look.